for now. But today we're going to take you back to 1984. And this particular vehicle is an 84 Fiero pace car edition. So uh, when the Fiero came out, Indy decided to use this car for a uh, pace car. Most of this car is either plastic or fiberglass, as you can see, with a, obviously a metal frame. But um, the one at Indy has some mod mods done to it, obviously, to be able to pace the uh, 500. But the street versions were mostly just cosmetic uh, appearance package. But they only made 2,000 of them. If I'm not mistaken, they were all white, and these should be, wheels should be white, but these aren't. So they might have been changed at one time. What really made this thing an odd duck is this crazy pace car interior. Yeah, no kidding, right? That's how it came from the factory. And that's how one reason you knew you had a pace car. It said pace car in the embroidered into the back there. Another interesting thing that they did, this says power windows. I believe they came automatic or stick, and this one's an automatic, obviously. Pop open sunroof. But um, they put, back in 84, speakers in your headrest. Yeah, that was an interesting idea, concept. I think it only lasts like a year or so. But, uh, you know, stereos were becoming all the rage back then. And they wanted to uh, be up with the times, I guess, or maybe ahead of the times. This one's got a rear window defroster. And uh, so it's a rear engine, obviously. Which means everything up here Spare tire, brakes, radiator. This one runs and drives. I wouldn't say it's road ready yet, or uh, what do you call it? Um, daily driver ready yet. It's your RPO codes. But it's pretty dang close. Um, it starts when it's cold all the time. It starts when it's warm. I just know when it's cold, it takes one or two tries to get to the start, but only when it's cold. Anyway. But, before I took this on the road, maybe the daily driver, I would probably go over a couple things, just to make sure, you know. Um, I don't know if you guys knew this, but that's the air inlet, where the, how the engine gets the air for the motor. Speaking of the engine, we'll hit this little lever, pops your gas door. Got that. These panels come off right here, sorry it's a little wet. They come off with Zeus fasteners, one on each side. One's got the battery, and the other side's just um, like miscellaneous components. Here's that wonderful interior again. This one's been pretty much in Arizona its whole life. And if you look under this thing, it's super dry, no rust. What you would expect from Arizona. And uh, oh, let's go back to the engine while we're here. Looks like a factory exhaust to me from 1984. And actually, this car sounded pretty good. Yeah, you know, I never really looked at them too closely when I was back in the day. But I you know, look at them now, and they're actually, it's like original miles, I think, too. Um, and they're not like mess with them, and they're. Oh, that sunset. They're really not too bad, honestly. So we're going to pop the trunk here, and by popping the trunk, I mean there's the engine. Well, four-cylinder, it's been around for a long time, GM has, mo has had this motor for a long time. They upgrade it a little bit for the Fiero. This is your trunk. Not huge, but holds groceries. This one's got factory air conditioning, cruise control, some other cool options, which is kind of cool. The rear wing on this car, I thought back in its day, I thought the rear wing was just dynamite. I mean, one of the few, I mean, this thing's probably the biggest wing that came on a car. It's probably one of the smallest cars made in 84. And the wing just fit. The wheels should be white, but these were not, I think they, well, I think they've been swapped out maybe at one time. But uh, you can obviously paint them white yourself. The match, like when you restore it, Obviously, this car needs restoration. I want to let you hear it. Some stuff under the dash. Ready? Oh, 
Now granted it is a little warmed up. I warmed it up about 10 minutes ago by driving it around a little bit. Tack works. I think speedometer works, I'll check. Brake lights on, I think for the e-brake. And doors are open light. Okay, good. So one thing I could not get to work. Sorry, I just can't get over that sunset. Headlights. So I don't know if it's just a fuse or what, but the headlights are normally pop-up versions. These are not popping up. I don't even see any parking lights on. Ah, I got, wait. No, no parking lights either. The exhaust sounds pretty good. I mean, for back in its day. The tires are actually in really good shape on this car. Oh, BFGs. I don't know if the reverse lights work or not, but obviously the radio area has been messed with and needs to get finished or fixed up. But, not a lot. There's only 2,000 of these cars produced in the pace car edition. And, I don't know, 30 something years later, how many do you think are left? Probably well under a thousand. And we're gonna go for a ride real quick and take it back to the shop. Check out the sunset one more time. Arizona fall weather, which is dynamite. It's only about 75 degrees today. Maybe a little cooler now with sun's going down. This paint all looks to be original. Here I call it patina. Major Vin. Yeah, I got pictures of Vin. The focus is better than this. Way to go. Don't focus. Stupid thing. Huh. Come on, focus. Damn it. Oh, wait. I got pictures of it. Pop open sunroof. Let's go for a ride. This would be your little pull for the front hood, by the way. Hello to sunset. Okay. See here. See what gates work and what gates don't work. Okay, so this is obviously an automatic. Ooh. Power windows, they work? Nah, power windows are not working. So, you know, it's a car that needs restoration. Go figure. But, it's a nice rust-free car. It's pretty complete that you can have a lot of fun with. I don't know why the accelerator on this car is so stiff. I swear it's like, the return spring is like nuts or something. Sorry, windshield's dirty, I know. What I'm gonna work in? Yep. There's downtown, folks. But, uh, fun little drive. Sorry, the windshield's dirty as usual. Oh, that's a sunset. I don't know, I like doing my uh, videos this time of day. You get great sunsets and the lighting's really good. And I just feel it works better. Let's yield. Yield. No one's coming good. Let's go. One thing about these cars, dude, they do handle really well. I think they handle really great for their day. Okay. One final stop. One little pass on this baby. That does like come on when the window doors are open. Okay. If you're tall, you might not fit in this very well. I just hit my head, not even tall. But there's our 84 Fiero Pace Car Edition. Running, driving Arizona car. Hope you enjoyed it. We love bringing you these cars. Funny is I remember when these cars were new, and I used to work at the dealerships and for different reasons. I used to work on them 
And remember when they used to come in off the uh, trucks when being delivered from Pontiac. Some good days. Say hi, kitty. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it.